Do you, Ziggy? You hurry. Get in, we're late. Do that in the car. I forgot. You forgot? I forgot. You didn't forget the rest of what I told you, did you? I don't look and speak. It was be polite, bring plastic and duct tape, do the kill inside. And? Keep it cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. I remember. What? Don't look and speak. It was be. Put the fucking gun away. Listen, shithead. I messed this up because Muckle had my nuts in a blender. So crank one off in your own time. Yeah. Don't do it. You're hardly the limp, aren't you? Could have got to left two million of cars on money in an armored car. That was you, wasn't it? It's around the pedal. And if that was my money you left on the side of the road, you'd get what? You'd be in a suitcase floating in a fucking canal right about now, that's what. Keep on fucking dreaming, kid. Engagement ring. What does it look like? An engagement ring. This here is better than any bulletproof vest or pension plan out there. How'd you figure that one out? Because I'm already in the big cheese. I'm already in Cosmo's daughter. <laughs> Cosmo's letting some toe rag tattoo on his neck short arse like you marry his only daughter. <laughs> I'm a pretty smooth operator when we want to be. Uh, sure, whatever you say, Romeo. Come back to me when your balls drop. I don't think that's working. No. Smells so like can cast it. I don't know. Some, uh, some nobody, Michael Bebo or something. Hold it. Michael Bebo? This is two of us to take out Michael and Ted's Bebo. Yeah. You know him? Sure, I know. It's like a hundred stones sitting in his chest. He probably died of a heart attack. Oh, Cosmo probably wants to make sure the job's done right. So he sends a pro like you. One more word of you and you'll end up with my foot up your ass. This foot would that be, Harry? I wouldn't want you to lose balance on me, would I? Adam. Be cool. I said be cool. I told you three times, we do the kill inside. What part of inside did I not make clear? We'll go get the plastic. Look, you were supposed to put the plastic down first, so we don't make a mess. He said we rolled them up in it. You do. We put down the plastic, we shoot him, he falls on the plastic, we roll him up. No mess. No mess? No. No mess. So what? Uh, we come in, say hello and start rolling plastic down on the floor. Eh? What you doing there, lads? Some damn proofing. You go on with your spaghetti there, Chief. Don't mind us. Now, would you be good enough to stand in that extra stair, please? Sure. No problem. Would you like me to fall back this way? Ah, oh, that'd be great. If you could, well, if I'm still conscious, I'll do my best. Thanks very much. You've been our noisiest hit all week. Have you ever killed anyone before, Hardy, huh?
Kom bare og glæde dig. Shiva, kom bare og glæde dig. Du er busy. Olga og gætter plastik. You keep what's left of your hair on, because from now on, I'm in charge. And look, the fuck up made the papers. Fuck you. You frighten me. You frighten me? You're not a drop in your bag, Raoul. Oh, stupid me. Stupid you. Nice name. So, Elgi, which is easier? You getting into them toy pants or me getting you out of them? What took you so long? What the fuck is that? Mobile rap. I can see what it is. So what the fuck did you ask me for? Okay then, let me be more clear. What the fuck is it for? We lay down the plastic, we shoot them, we roll them up in the plastic, no mess. I said plastic. Plastic, you idiot. A fucking piece of plastic. A tarp. A fucking drop cloth. No, you said plastic, not a drop cloth. Anyway, me one-eyed cousin Derek works for Woody's. He got that whole row for nothing. I told you already. I messed this up. I'm a fucking dead man. And that... That's your mess. Your mess. So you'll be a fucking dead man too. Be careful where you're pointing that gun, Harry. You wouldn't want it to go off and accidentally shoot somebody now, would you? And you asked her to come up here? She was worried about our boss barging in downstairs. Are you out of your fucking mind? What's the problem? Oh, no problem at all except this 20 fucking stone dead guy, you fucking spanner. Ah, you worry too much. I told her to give me at least an hour. You can wait outside in your piece of shit car. Oh shit, she's early. Give me that. Get him under the bed. Hello? Get into the closet. Get into the closet or you out of your fucking mind. Get into the closet. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna get rid of her. Now, close them curtains. Into the closet. You're really, babe. Have you got a problem reading the clock or something? I'll come back in an hour. I'm busy, yeah? Jeez, you just come back in an hour. What do you do now? Seriously, babe, you can't be here right now. Yes, I can. So where's the other fat fuck? Don't tell me he's hiding in the cupboard. Elki.
and you, Mr. Crocodile in the cupboard. Cosmo says, if you or any of your friends try to marry his daughter, he will kill them too. Otherwise, you can come back to work when you find the two million you leave by the side of the road. Until then, you can get fucked. You understand me? On that day when you took me by surprise, how my heart was true that it was you. When I first saw the twinkle in your eye, nothing more to do say that I love you. Make me dance, could make me sing about romancing. It's the way you catch me with your eyes. If I ask you sweetly, will you come along and meet me? Don't you realize that the day when you took me by surprise? Oh, my heart is true, darling, it is you. And I first saw the twin. 